Okay, I've got the bar all bolted up to the frame rail. And you can see I added the cups for the radiator to sit in. And also the bracket for the AC. So all that's tight and secure. I'll go ahead and set the radiator in and um, show you it with the side mounts. Alright, I've got the um, radiator back out of the car, I've got the hard pipes made, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull the old intercooler off and uh, I'll show you the new core side by side because I'm going to build, the, like I said before, uh, the new front mount using a Garrett core and get rid of this older front mount. So I'll go ahead and get that snatched off and show you the two cores so I can get them fitting up the tanks. I just showed you in the old intercooler off. Uh, the comparison between the two intercoolers is they're extremely different and that's one thing that's hard to tell just by looking at pictures on the internet uh, or in ads or whatever but the Garrett core is a super high density intercooler super efficient um, and this Godspeed core is you know it's a Godspeed core it's not it's an intercooler it's not the best um, I hate to try to, to knock something, you know, I don't sell them, uh, so I'll just leave it at that. The intercooler, the Garrett core is going to be far superior to the other core. Uh, even though it's shorter in height, uh, it'll make up for it being an inch thicker and just being two times or three times as dense. So it's going to cool far better than this older intercooler. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and try to mock up where I want this cooler to be so I can get a tank length measurement and go draw out some tanks, cut them and One thing I am going to do is, you see that bung on that tank? This car already has a set of mount brackets welded to the frame rail. So I'm going to reuse that location. So on the intercooler tanks I built, I'm going to put a similar bung so that it bolts in the same way and gets the same overall height as it had before. Here's a tip for some of the new fab guys that want to build intercoolers. I always draw and cut each intercooler by hand. Let me see if that will focus. And to get each one exact, the best way to do it is to do them all in one cut pass. That way there's no deviation in between the height of the tanks. So when I get ready to build and break the uh, end pieces, I know the four uh, side pieces are going to be the exact same because I cut them all in one pass.
All right, I've got the tanks all welded up how I want them inside outside. I'm gonna go ahead and fit them to the core and uh, get the marking so I can put the mount bung. That way I can go ahead and mount the whole intercooler assembly without the inland outlet on the car uh, because I will be using a set of the um, Vibrant HD clamps. So I'm gonna get everything fit up so I can bolt it to the car and go from there as far as the uh, HD clamp fitment because I have to also cut and modify the compressor housing uh, and modify the throttle body inlet all for these clamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up getting these fit and we'll go from there. Now I went ahead and took my measurement and tacked the bungs where I think I want them. So I'll go ahead now and uh, I'll pull this, fit it up and make sure it bolts up in place on the car correctly before I do the final welds on the core. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, that set on there and I'll keep moving. all bolted up how I want it and you can see one reason why I went with a 9 inch core instead of 11 or 12 inch like that was on it before it's because when you're going thicker you got this ridge right here and you've got the shape of the uh, buffer supporter frame rail right here so I wanted to make sure I could get it all in using a standard 3 inch long tanks I usually use and still have good clearance all the way around while still using the same mount locations that it already had so all this fit up well I'll go ahead and stop right now on it because next I'm going to, going to put um, the inlet and outlet on it which are going to be 90 turn backs and use the vibrant clamps on it. So I'll get all that fit up later because this side over here is tighter due to the oil cooler that's on the car so I have to work my way around that and figure out exactly how I want to do it to make it still be symmetrical. But yeah, that's it. The core and the basis of the intercooler is done. It all still fits well. The AC condenser and the radiator will still bolt up how I wanted it to bolt before. So it should all line up well in the car and be good to go.